Nice to see you again, children. Today is another story time here at Children's Classroom. Have you seen a peacock, children? Does it look like this? What do you think is this peacock thinking about? Let's find out in this story. The Peacock Who Wished to Fly Written by Deogratias Simba Illustrated by Shabani Hamidu And translated by Alicia Berger Tausi, the peacock, was a kind and gentle bird. He lived in peace with all the other birds. But Tausi had a dream. Instead of pecking at the ground, he wanted to fly to faraway lands. He wished he could see the, all the beauty of nature for himself. But Tausi the peacock couldn't even travel far in search for food. Some naughty birds mocked him. They left him alone whenever they went in search of food. Tausi the peacock thought to himself, If I am a bird, then I should be able to fly. Why don't I have wings like the other birds? Tausi the peacock thought hard. He decided that he would try to collect feathers from other birds. He crept up behind the owl. He plucked a few feathers from her back without being noticed. The feathers were beautiful, long, and dark. He did the same with the parrot. He got beautiful green and yellow feathers. He stole feathers from many different birds. He even plucked feathers from geese who were swimming in the river. The feathers were pretty and white. Tausi kept his feather gathering a secret. Tausi the peacock even stole feathers from two eagles while they were busy eating. By now, he had collected a lot of beautiful feathers. He cleverly wove them together. He carefully fixed the feathers to his tail. When he stretched his tail, the feathers spread out like a fan. It was beautiful. The different colors made him look even more attractive. Now Tausi the peacock was the most attractive bird in the village. None of the other birds had feathers as beautiful as Tausi the peacock. Tausi the peacock was happy. As the most beautiful bird in the jungle, he no longer wanted to fly. Other birds didn't mock or tease him anymore. They were too busy admiring his beauty.